tin work started in the early 1800s. Spanish colonial tin is what it's uh, originated as. And what they would do is for the santos, the patron saints, um, they would get tin cans and kind of cut them up and do frames around the santo. Like you'll see, um, most of mine aren't all tin, they're wood and tin. So this is just kind of, um, kind of what they liked, you know what I mean? They wanted to pay homage to their saints and so this is how they framed them. And then they started doing the mirrors and it kind of evolved. So tradition today, I used to do traditional tin work, but because my mother and grandmother are seamstresses, I had this affinity for beads and lace. And so I kind of just married them together just to bring, I wanted to bring a little bit more texture, a little bit more um, color. And so this is 2017 tin work. But yeah, it's been with us since the early 1800s and has been passed down for generations um, in northern New Mexico here. So, and I'm actually from Albuquerque, which is a little south of Santa Fe. But um, yeah, it's it's in my heart, it's in my, my soul. So, you know, love the Santos and of course the mother. Um, and the Sacred Hearts. How many generations can your family trace back? Oh goodness, well, um, I don't know how many generations. I mean, we did do uh, a genealogy trying to trace back, but it kind of stopped with my grandfather because we couldn't, we couldn't find, because there was no records. No, but there's no records. Or... No, no, and this was in northern New Mexico. This is actually Dawson, Las Vegas area, mm -hmm. and for some reason they couldn't trace him back. But I know tracing back my father that goes back to the Canary Islands. So, but my mother's side, we couldn't, we kind of got stumped because of the records. There were no records. But yeah, definitely here when we were still Mexico. So, um, definitely have that. So how does it feel carrying on a tradition? Oh my goodness. I, it's, it's amazing. I mean, what a gift to be able to do that. And for me, what a gift to be able to put different artworks together and make it mixed media and still beautiful. You know, um, because obviously tra traditional tin work is fantastic. I love it. That's what I started with. But again, and in, in truth, when you think about it, going back to the 1800s, they added other embellishments as well. Thank you. Enjoy. So, Some yes. So, where do you think the next generation is going to take it to? Who knows? <laughs> we have some very creative, um, talented artists. So. Who knows where it is? Sky's the limit. Display saints. <laughs> Virtual saints. Virtual saints, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and who knows what, what are the materials that can be added and mixed together and, you know. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it.